Hi, so this morning I read an article that was talking about a young man who at the age of 29 has somehow managed to have 21 children, I believe it is, and of those 21 children, there are 11 women who are the mothers of those children. And again, I'll reiterate, this young man is only 29 years old. And in the article, it also talked about how he had only a minimum wage job with which to try and support all these children. So obviously that raises a lot of issues. The first thing is the obvious. At least it's obvious to me being a person who tends to speak in front of young women and sometimes young men about um, them accomplishing their goals and reaching um, not just their career or academic goals but just their life goals in general. The first thing that I actually started to think about the minute I heard that this young man had had that many children with that many women was, oh my goodness, STDs. Um, STDs, uh, sexually transmitted diseases, and of course including AIDS. That's the first thing that came to my mind. Now, of course, I don't know enough about this man to generalize and say he was having unprotected sex, but it does seem to be a valid question. The second thing is the financial support. What's saddening about this is that these children will now uh, spend at least the first 18 years of their lives, which they're depending on their father to provide for them, um, going without a lot of things that other children who have um, maybe not as many siblings or came into this world um, as a planned decision. Uh, they're definitely, or at least his children, are going to have much less than those children. And then the third thing is, can this man actually be a father? He's still young. and there are many children and there are many mothers. Can he really be there for those children the way that he needs to? Can he be a father? Can he um, provide the love, affection, and attention that these children need? Can he really, with 11 different women, even if he wanted to, is it humanly possible for him to be there at the time that those children need him? I really don't think so. So this is actually a very sad issue when you look at it that way. So I got into a quick conversation about the whole issue and uh, the person that I was talking to started saying, well, here's the thing. Um, there's an agenda here um, and the agenda is population control. Uh, people are trying to control the population of minorities and this young man is rebelling against that. Um, they're going to definitely be more uh, or at least what we're now calling minorities is no longer going to be minorities if people continue like this, or at least black men and other minority groups continue like this. We will not, no longer be able to be called minority, and that's a good thing. And then the thing about, uh, the other thing that came up was, well, look at the Mormons. Um, they have different wives. Uh, at least one man can have more than one wife, and that works. So why can this young man at the age of 29 uh, not have more than one woman and lots of children. Again, the issue here is, at least from where I'm standing, the issue is this man, I really don't believe, has acquired the leadership skills to lead a household with 11 women. I don't believe that it was decided amongst him and those 11 women that they would uh, cohabit and raise these children together. Um, I really don't know him and I would like to find out more information but just from what I know about this country and its history and what goes on in black communities around the country I'm sad to say I don't believe that this was something that he intended to do uh, in terms of building a, a, a polygamous family but I'm sure now that he's got this much attention we'll start to hear more about it so just again the issues that I'm having a lot of trouble digesting are I believe that when people engage in this kind of behavior they expose themselves to diseases sexually transmitted diseases and some of them as, dead, as deadly as AIDS HIV and AIDS. The second thing is children are starting to go without and I believe it's not fair to those children to be brought into this world without the means or the adequate uh, finances to take care of them and see them through at least to their 18th birthday having everything that they need in terms of food, clothing and shelter and also paying for their education. The third thing is I don't believe that with 21 children and 10 different or 11 different mothers that this man can honestly be a father to those children and um, I really think that that's the sad part of this. Uh, some people are thinking it's funny or 
you know, that he's, you know, and they're being funny and saying that, you know, he's rebelling against this population control. But let's for one stop thinking about the humorous part of this. Let's stop talking about the sensational part of it and talk about the real issues. Children are growing up without their fathers and that does not build a healthy and happy community.